Alright guys, taking our look at this L1. Got a nice left hand start here. And uh, it's important to note starting out when you look at you know where your units are going to go that you notice that Alderaan and Yark can both only reach from two spots. So just make sure you don't occupy one of those spots with uh, Archimedes here because that will be a regrettable mistake. Um, make sure instead, obviously, you want a Scarab on high ground. Archimedes in one spot, Yark in the other. Won't be able to reach with Makatep on turn one. And then you'll go ahead and cast your summons and do your attack with uh, Beast Mode Man Elderon. Some overkill, lost a Yerrick spawn right away from a flea, but we get the bonus of the other ones. Um, you know, it's, a, it's almost enough to make you think that maybe Yerrick's passive is worth leveling. Uh, but then, but then no, not really. <laughs> Uh, so we're still two tiles away. Uh, we don't like having this tile not occupied because the boss can shift and suddenly not be two tiles away from Alderaan. Uh, super unfortunate when it happens. However, if it happens, the, the left tile right now of the boss will still be occupied by the boss. So if you can actually put Alderaan either here where this Cadian Guardsman is, or here, then even if the boss shifts, he will stay two tiles away and you won't lose all of your bonus damage uh, from the Elderon buff. So you want to make sure you shift Elderon going into uh, your second turn here, pull Makatep to some high ground, and there you see the boss shifted, but I still maintain all of my bonus damage here. So that's a, a really key movement. Um right there and the boss shifting unfortunately we do lose a surrounding tile uh but we will go be able to go ahead and pull some high ground i'd love to move yark to the high ground right now um but the boss will run out if we do so we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to pull oh maybe not we'll go here we'll stay here for now we're thinking about pulling Mach off the high ground. I know it's a loss of 500 damage, and every damage counts, but I do want to, uh, uh, before the game gets too late, move him into range of some of these scarabs. But there we go. The scarabs made a good move for me. I can now move Yark to the high ground, and uh, Aleph Newell, go ahead and move over here. Use Makotep to uh, trap the boss back in with the Scarab, and go ahead and do my hit with Alderaan. Getting Scarab heavy on the right side of the map, but they're doing smart and they're moving in, so that's great. Go ahead and do our attacks. Move back up to high ground. And go ahead and continue to use Alderaan. I don't know why I'd move him, just wanted to. And... Still full surround. Look at the damage pumping here. Absolutely phenomenal. Can't catch high ground for Doom. My Doom's gotten a little bit better. And you'll see that the, the, the floor for damage on Doom doesn't really increase much. Uh, I leveled it from, uh, I think, 29 to 34 or something like that, 33. And the floor for the damage didn't move up much at all. Uh, from like 180 to 230, but the ceiling moves up dramatically. Uh, and so you actually get some RNG potential for some really high damage here. And uh, let's see here, we're at 178,800 right now. And so we pull like 3k off that hit. It's not amazing, but it's definitely not nothing. Um, so there's 181,000. Grab a screen of that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope that helps you think about your movement.